Hi guys, today I'm going to talk about Rosamund Clifford. I've also created this makeup look which is kind of inspired by her. Of course we don't really know what she looks like. We just have paintings from um, different artists imaginations of um, how they think she might have looked. So I've kind of taken inspiration from some of those paintings, particularly this painting of Rosamund. I know I look a lot like Merida from Brave. Um, this outfit, this blue outfit and this wig which I love, it's so big and curly and um, I just wish my natural hair was as big as this, it's gorgeous. But um, a lot of the paintings I've seen of Rosamund, she has got this really beautiful big um, ginger hair so I thought this would be perfect for this look and also in this painting of hers she's wearing that um, long blue medieval dress and I thought this uh, medieval dress, it's even got the long medieval sleeves um, would be perfect for this look as well so yeah I'm going for a Rosamund slash Merida vibe for this look so before I show you how you can get this makeup look which is a very very simple smoky eye in the uh, medieval times they didn't really wear a lot on makeup but um, a lot of my looks I've been doing recently have been kind of like no makeup makeup looks because that's kind of what was about in the medieval times and I've done obviously a lot of um, videos inspired by the medieval times um, so I wanted to kind of um, make this video a little different it's still extremely simple and um, that you again sort of like barely their eye makeup but it is a smoky eye it's very very easy subtle smoky eye but um yeah before I get into this makeup look I'm going to talk a little bit about Rosamund Clifford Rosamund Clifford also known as the Fair Rosamund or the Rose of the World was the mistress of King Henry II of England the daughter of Lord Walter Clifford and Margaret Isabel Ditosny. She had two sisters and three brothers in which we know of. Her sisters were called Amis and Lucy and her brothers Walter, Richard and Gilbert. She grew up and spent most of her time at Clifford Castle. No one really knows for sure how Rosamund and Henry II first met. Some say that the two met when Eleanor of Aquitaine, who was Henry II's wife, was pregnant with her last child, John, in 1166. Um, Henry would have been about 33 at the time and Rosamund would have been about 23. Others say that Rosamund probably would have met Henry in 1163 when he was doing one of his campaigns in Wales and would have passed by Clifford Castle. It is said that Rosamund was extremely beautiful, she is very famous for being a beauty and it is said that when Henry II first saw Rosamund he fell madly in love with her. Henry created a home for Rosamund at Woodstock and it is here that Henry had also made a garden for his wife Eleanor of Aquitaine and within that garden was a maze there are loads of different myths and legends about Rosamund but one of the more famous ones is to do with the maze and it's about Eleanor who is extremely jealous that her husband has fallen madly in love with Rosamund that she sought out to find and kill Rosamund um, looking for her within the maze and when she eventually found Rosamund she forced her to choose the means of her own death either by a dagger or a bowl of poison and myth has it that Rosamund chose the bowl of poison though some accounts say she took the dagger. Rosamund later moved to Godstow where she joined the Godstow nunnery um, it's possible that she decided to join a nunnery because of the vicious rumours that were spreading about her from being the um, from being Henry II's mistress. Rosamund died extremely young in her 20s in 1176. She has been mentioned through poetry and writings and her alleged beauty has inspired many to paint her. The myths and legends which surround her are still told today. Now I'm going to show you how you can get this very simple smoky eye look inspired by Rosamund Clifford. 
To make my skin lighter, I'm going to use this BB cream from Rimmel London in Berry Light. I don't want a full coverage, which is why I've decided to use a BB cream. Now I'm applying my Candlelight Glow Powder from Too Faced to the high points of my face. I really love this stuff, it really gives a beautiful highlight. Now using my Goof Proof Ugh, it's so hard to say, my Goof Proof Brow Pencil from Benefit, I'm trying to make my brows look thinner and then I'm just going to fill them in. This is in the shade 3 which is a lighter shade than my natural brows. Now I'm going to use my Boudoir Eyes Palette from Too Faced. I'm only really going to use one shade for this smoky eye and I'm taking the shade Garter Belt which is a grey colour and I'm applying that to the outer corners of my eyes and then using a blending brush I'm just going to smoke that out into my crease and then I'm also going to take the same shade and just apply a bit down um, my lower lash line. And now I'm taking the shade in the buff for my highlight shade and I'm applying this along my brow bone and in the inner corners of my eyes. Now I'm going to apply mascara, this is the Better Than Sex mascara from Too Faced and then I'm going to use this blush also from Too Faced, I do love this brand. This is in the shade Sparkling Bellini and I'm applying this quite heavily down my cheekbones and on the apples of my cheeks as well. In the painting she looks like she's wearing quite heavy blush. And now for the lips. This is Julianne's Pure Red from L'Oreal and this is a pinky orangey kind of red which I thought was perfect for this look. And that completes this look inspired by Rosamund Clifford. Thank you very much for watching this video, I really hope you enjoyed it, please subscribe to see more from me and I will see you in my next video, bye!